Shalom, shalom, shalom. Grand rising, grand rising. This is your host, Miss Lady Lifestyle. So I know I came to you with an earlier video. Amen, amen, amen. So the gig is up. The gig is up. Your lies have been exposed down to the to the bone, to the meat. You know how you in your skin and you got cut. Y'all been cut so deep that it's all been exposed. Your skin, your bone, your vessel, every muscle has been revealed. Okay? So Jaffet's are all white. That's where these people come from. Japheth and his seeds are all white. Okay, that's how the father was able to identify who is who and who is who and who is who and who is who is who is who is who. Okay? So now that's how God knows who are his children and who are just absolutely nothing nothing to him okay in second address six the whole chapter of second address six okay so <laughs> go read it for yourself you can also watch the read the talmud chapter 24 it would tell you everything that was in my last chapter my last video okay so Japheth's are white they're all white so they can't get over it they can't get over it they can't get around it it's there in their uh forefathers you know like Japheth <laughs> whatever was in Japheth's heart whatever was in Japheth's spirit it's in his seeds so he was jealous 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 that he got the coldest land and the whitest face <laughs> and the smallest peepees <laughs> that's why Japheth is mad right because when they were probably back in the Noah days and they really wasn't wearing much yeah Japheth probably looked like a pecker you know like those little vin veneer sausages <laughs> And he was mad. And Ham came out so black and so black with a big penis. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it hangs like a horse. I don't know. I don't know. But they were jealous. Okay? But when it came to Shem, God made them black and beautiful. Gorgeous to look at in all the seasons beautiful seasons that the father made we were able to enjoy it and look good doing it okay and was well endowed and big enough for all of our females so we didn't have to go to Japheth that's where the ham hamites went to Japheth maybe because the ham men were too big who knows who knows don't care never seen don't want to amen amen and amen but who knows what the hang-up is for him. Maybe he was just too black and all their children was just going to come out more black and more blue-black and more blue-black and they were upset. So they wanted to have some type of beauty. So they went over to the crackers, which was those Japhites who was having nothing but white kids, white ghost-ass children, and they didn't have no melanin for the sun. They didn't have no look, no nothing but just dead hair and dead features and with a little pecker, like a little pug pug. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> they were jealous. All right. They had envy, you know? That spirit got up on him, envious. Okay. Covering thy neighbors anything. Okay. From the way we look, the way we act, the way we dress, the way we are. That's shim. Okay. So, I don't know what Ham hang-up was and his Cain, Canaanite sons and their children. I don't even care what their hang-ups were. But they were jealous and they were envious. And they didn't, you know, and here we being so nice and so kind to say, all right, you black and ugly. But, you know, you still my cousin. <laughs> and you white and bland with no look and no flavor, no ass, no nothing. 
Becky. <laughs> so we was feeling bad. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else could have did you right. Not your people, not especially Jaffet. None of him could do you right. Do get that feeling like the black, you know, I shin Hebrew women were getting it right, getting it done right, getting it satisfied, getting it perfect. Okay. <laughs> and the Jaffets, you know, probably couldn't do the same because they were just into animals, you know, like screwing animals. You know, them little, they probably would be fucking squirrels of all I care. But that's how little they are. Who knows who cares from the grapevine? They ain't really nothing. Now, I don't even care to examine. Okay? I stick with my own kind. I love my Shemite men. Okay? And never had a problem. Never had a worry or concern with my Shemite men. Okay? Now, Jaffet, I mean, uh, Ham. I don't know anything about them either because I was I was brought into captivity over here. So who knows about them daggone hair mites, okay? But just do your hair. Get the knots out your hair and comb your hair and do something. Women, try and grow your hair, all right? You, 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 that's the difference. And I realize that's the difference between a hair mite and a shimite. Our hair grows. Our hair grows. You know what I'm saying? It grows. That's why they call us Negro. Because we will grow our hair. Our hair will grow and we grow. Everything about us grow. Okay? <laughs> All right? So don't get it twisted. Our women are good. Our men are even better. They're great. They're, 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 they're the image of the Most High, Yah. So when he come back, y'all going to see. They're going to see just where y'all stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You did it to yourselves. You put yourselves in this situation. You built the ships. You brought them over here. And you could have just left us there. Okay, we were supposed to come over here. All right, we came over here. Y'all supposed to leave us alone, according to Obadiah 1. Y'all supposed to just let us go through our stresses and calamities, and that was it. Y'all were never supposed to put us in a, 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 a jail and beat the crap out of us till we're dead. Like Sandra Bland, rest in peace. Like all these other brothers and sisters that y'all killed in those, those prisons. Wait till it comes around, honey. God said he don't like ugly. He ain't too fond or too cute. However, when y'all made your bed, now y'all gonna all have to sleep in it. All that following us, killing us, putting your foot on our neck and all that stuff, y'all did it to yourself. So if I was you, I would wake up your forefathers and slap them in their fucking grave and then put them back in their grave. Try having them wake up. The father will bring them right back down to hell. Okay? So I know where my son is. And I know where my sister is. I know where my dad is. I know where my grandma is. And I know how good they were. And they still be in heaven. And you think for one minute... I'm not going to stand at that gate and make sure none of y'all get in. I'm going to identify all y'all because I seen all y'all and I looked at all y'all faces. And I see that if y'all didn't do it, y'all didn't say nothing to stop it. So I'm going to make sure none of y'all get up in there. Just like Christ said, he's going to separate the sheep from the goats. Like Christ said, he's going to separate the wheat from the tears. I know Yahushua HaMashiach is right on it like I am. Because if he was anything like me, and I am not bigger than my master. I'm not bigger than my master. And if he is more living than I, y'all don't even stand a chance. So don't even look for the future like, oh, I'm going to go be raptured in heaven. Heck no. I will not even let him take y'all. They the cruel ones. They were the mean ones. They were the selfish ones. They were the haters. And he already know. And if I just came here in 69, I just came here in 1969, and I see all this going down. And if he is a half annoyed than I am, then y'all gonna get it.
y'all might as well just lay down and shoot yourselves. Y'all just might as well, because y'all live by the guns, you're going to die by the guns. That's what it says. You live by the guns, then y'all might as well shoot yourselves with your guns, because that's how the Father's coming for revenge. All right? How have the floods been? How have the hurricanes been? How have the wind been? Where's your home now? Where's your luxurious homes now? I heard that the paradise was burnt up, burnt to crisp. It ain't nowhere to go. You can't go up, so you got to go keep going further down. What else are you going to take from you? Hmm? All those people that went to do that Halloween trick, that Halloween party, where are they? Not here. Y'all moaning and groaning because y'all lost your children. Now, y'all had fucked. Y'all did all of that to save children. And at the end, Father, they'll wipe them out. Wipe them out. Just like that. They decided, them crooked people, the Moabs or whoever they are, decided to come out their little daggone house and go into a crowded street to get stampede. Who did that but the Lord? If he directs our steps, he directed their steps right to slaughter. So if the Father directs our steps and he directs and, and they end up like that, I know when I lost my son, he went straight to heaven because he went all this. The Most High must have informed him. The Most High must have informed him about all this that's going on to their people. And my son was too beautiful and too black. You know, very light skin, you know, but very black in spirit, in his soul. You know what I'm saying? With the thick woolly hair. Even though it was orange, like red, it was still thick that you couldn't deny that he was of a Negro family. And you think that my child was called home for them, for y'all people, Japheths, to go up there with him and he, he, ha, 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 and can't, can't, can't with all of them? I don't think so. I will stand in the middle and point you out if the, uh, and, and, and maybe Christ and I will have to say, hey, well, wait a minute, Yolanda, he did so and so and so and so and so and so and I'm going to still Adam said he wants all of Cain, Abel, 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 said he wants all of Cain's seeds to be up out of here before he returned. And I want Adam, Abel, Abel, Abel to come back. I ask Abel to come back. So that means all of Cain's seed, Japheth, all of them got to be up out of here. Who knows? Who cares, really? Because I don't. All glory to the Most High Yah. All glory to the Most High Yah. All glory and all praise goes to the Most High Yah. So I'm glad that the Kanye West, the Yeez, the Yeezys came out. I'm glad Kari Earth came out. All them other people, who cares about nobody cared. I never cared about Charles Barkley. Never cared. Never Googled him. Never researched him. Never joined or subscribed to him. He's so irrelevant. It That's like talking to Al Sharpton. It's irrelevant. He don't speak for me. He doesn't speak for me at all. I don't care about Charles Barkley. He could go right where the Most High is going to send him. They could sell their souls if all I care. Just sell it because we don't want it. We don't want it over here. So Charles Barkley might as well just keep selling his soul because we don't want his soul back. Okay? I don't know. I know I don't. Whoever that 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 Shannon, whoever that 
don't care about him either. Nobody ever subscribed to him, like Cannon Sharp, whatever. Don't care. Nobody cares about your your, your person, your uh, your thoughts, your theories. Nothing. Nobody cares. You don't get paid for that. So you can shut up and just do what you're supposed to do. Stick with sports. Charles, just shut up and dribble. Because nobody, and if you can dribble, who knows? Just get your, get all that shit taken care of. Who else? Don't care about none of y'all. Don't care. You know? We, I can show them how to to live off of a budget. Trust and believe. Kanye, Yeezy, you don't need all that money. Y'all, y'all don't need that money. Your wife, your children don't need all that. You can just get a nice tent, a fly York, like a a a, a, a Irk or York or whatever they call those canopies, and go live off the grid. You know what I'm saying? Till to the land. We don't need all that money. You don't need all that to survive. Let your your children go and decide who they want to chill with because of the color of their skin. But all of that, don't care. Okay? So good that they came out with the truth and let the truth set y'all free. But all that, I don't care about Adidas. I don't care about Adidas. Don't care about any about it. Any of them. Nike. Who gives a shit about Nike? Who gives a shit about Adidas? You know what I'm saying? I don't wear them. Don't need them. You know what I'm saying? So, they, y'all did it to yourselves. <laughs> and now y'all can look at the mirror and be upset about the color of your skin. Be the, be upset about your trials and tribulations that's coming. Not for just a moment, baby. You might as well consider this, this time, like 16, 11, 16, 12, 16, 13, 16, 14, 16, 15, 16, 17, all the way to 16, 19. You know how that, you see how that is, right? So you consider this, 16, 11. Okay, and now when y'all go into captivity, whatever happens, maybe Putin would just blow y'all all up. Hey, and then what the, what the father said, make sure that y'all not in remembrance at all, just like y'all was trying to do to his seeds. He's going to do it to y'all, where he's going to take y'all out of our memory. We ain't, we're going we're gonna to turn around and we're going to see nothing but Shemites. And if we see any of y'all remnants, remnants of what's left, y'all going into captivity to be our slaves. For how long? For a thousand years. Not 400. And then y'all come back into your blessings. Y'all will never, never go back to your blessings. Never, ever, ever will go back to any signs of remnants of your blessings. Like, we don't even remember when you were blessed. How about that? How about that? Don't even know. When were y'all blessed? Hmm? That's how we're going to see. See, and remember y'all in the lake of fire. Because y'all going to be there like a thousand years. So you do the math. Like, we had to do the math. We did the math. We was like... 1619, 400 years, 2019. If he said 400 years, he said 400 years. So now you do the math. Don't even worry about 2019. Think about when y'all get into captivity. So it took us nine years after they completed the Bible, 1611, they completed the Bible, okay? And they took us into captivity, 1619, okay? So just wait for your time to start. And they haven't even started yet because you're not into captivity. 
So when y'all go into captivity, and after the captivity, the thousand years, you're done. You're annihilated. <laughs> it's not like you're ever coming back, sweethearts. Because he says it's going to be like this for forever. With Yahushua HaMashiach, with the Shemites on top again. And we're going to listen to the Father and do his will. And I pray that it's just not me. Only me. Ha! <laughs> I know I've never been with no no white man. So it's going to be a lot more of us not ever be with y'all ever, ever, ever again. So enjoy all that that y'all want to. And if y'all get, hey, be our slaves. No problem. We always need the extra hand. We will always need the extra hand. So get busy. 